bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at Naval Station Everett, and we're proud to have with us today Captain John Alexander, Commanding Officer of the USS Abraham Lincoln. Thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you for letting us join you today. You're welcome. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Captain Alexander, I think people know a little bit about the Navy and what you all do, but not a lot. Can you explain some of your missions? Sure. Uh, a good friend of mine likes to refer to us as uh, America's utility infielder. Uh, we do just about everything. Uh, we're a diplomatic tool uh, to be used by the president, uh, and it's all about peace and prosperity and trying to prevent wars. And uh, you hear a lot about us uh, in enduring freedom, uh, projecting power, but what people don't hear a lot of time is the fact that uh, just through presence we deter combat, deter wars. Uh, we have a large humanitarian assistance disaster relief role. Uh, and the fact is, is you know, you can fly an airplane over a country, uh, and that shows intent. But if you park on a carrier strike group off that country shore, uh, that shows resolve. And the fact is, 70% uh, of the world is uh, is made of water. 80% uh, of the world's population lives within 200 miles of the coast, and 90% of our trade uh, goes over water. Uh, so it's important. Uh, that we protect our sea lanes, we protect the peace, uh, and we, uh, we prevent wars so we can prosper as not only a nation, but a nation with allies across the world. You mentioned Haiti. So what sort of things did you all do in Haiti? Uh, providing uh, assistance ashore, uh, doctors, medical supplies, water, stuff. We bring stuff. We can make 400,000 gallons of water a day. Uh, we have a hospital that, that can hold 43 people. Uh, we have surgeons, doctors, maxifacial surgeons. We, just about everything we do uh, can, can contribute to disaster relief uh, or any type of uh, humanitarian assistance that's needed. You're in charge of 3,000 plus sailors here on the Abraham Lincoln. Tell us about uh, the sailors on board. Um, what they do uh, when it comes to these missions? Uh, they're the greatest kids in the world. You know, the, uh, the average sailor on board the Abraham Lincoln is around 22 years old. Uh, and so when they call me the old man, it's, it's, <laughs> it's literally is not as, as, not as much figuratively. Uh, but every one of them come in a, in a matter of two years, we train them, uh, and then they're here and they will be managing anywhere from 10 to 20 people uh, by the age of 20. Uh, and then can potentially leave and make, uh, you know, go to college and uh, get $80,000 for the GI Bill. Uh, but you can call them X, Y generations, millennials, it doesn't matter. Each and every one of them are uh, patriots, uh, just like we were when we were their age. So uh, they're incredibly uh, uh, impressive, great to have aboard, and everything they do is just, uh, it's just amazes me every day. I think of the words impressive and awesome when thinking about the Abraham Lincoln. I mean, it is a city like any other American city. And can you explain? I mean, some of the, the facts and figures are astounding. Well, it's, it's interesting you say that because uh, it stretches man's ability to create. Uh, I was looking earlier today, uh, you know, it's just a little over 200 years ago that uh, John Paul Jones fought the battle off of Bonhomme Richard uh, and captured Serapis. Uh, he did that under sail. That ship he fought in was 152 feet in length. The ship we have today is 1,095 feet in length. Seven of those ships would fit in this ship. Uh, we have two nuclear reactors. Like I said, we make 400,000 gallons of water a day. Uh, when we take on ordnance, we take on like 2.6 million pounds of ordnance. Uh, we make enough air conditioning to uh, cool down 800 homes. Uh, we make 20,000 uh, meals a day. 20,000 uh, meals a day. 20,000 meals a day. When we drop an anchor, it's 60,000 pounds. Each of the screws that propels the ship is 21 feet in diameter. So everything is mon monumental in proportion. Wow. Well, it, it's been a real pleasure being here today and giving us a little bit more insight of what you all do. So, Captain Alexander, thank you so much. Thank you. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers Headline News at the top of the hour. Hope you can stay with us.